This is the Frigidaire FFTW4120SW1. I really tried the rally behind this machine, but I just couldn't bring myself to it. This washer is a 4.1 cubic foot tub, and honestly, I don't think it's actually made by Frigidaire. My suspicions are that it is a Medea built machine. Some interesting features is that it does have a max fill option and it does have its own separate cycles for whites and colors. I'm really reaching for this guys because it's uh, this washer doesn't really have a lot going on. I really tried to like this washer, but I couldn't find myself getting on board with it. Despite it having some shining moments, I realized that this washer more or less is just not the machine for me. And I've tested it and tested it and tested it and tested it. I'll typically run like a dozen or so cycles on a washing machine before I come to a conclusion. This washer, I think I did about eight or nine and I didn't really need to see much else. Let's go over some specs. This washer, like I said previously, has a 4.1 cubic foot tub, which is neither large nor small. It's kind of like somewhere in the middle. There's a lot bigger washers out there, and there are a couple that are smaller. It has 12 wash cycles, which is pretty much on par with every other machine in the universe. It does have multiple options. It has an auto load sensing feature, but you can bypass that with the max fill. It has the most puny 680 RPM spin speed I've ever seen. And for some reason, I just couldn't find an exact weight on this washer. Based on me moving it around, I figured it's a probably around 130 pounds. And around $650, it's not exactly a cheap washer either. Let's go over some of the pros about this washer. Hoy, where do I start? Okay, so it kind of just has like an average capacity. It's neither large nor small. I figured it's just like average. I don't know how to explain it. It's not impressive. It is also just okay at rinsing. Now, I put a star next to that because it can be awful at rinsing if you pick the wrong cycle. But if you pick the heavy duty cycle or the cotton cycle or the color cycle, it'll generally do a reasonable job rinsing your clothes. The wash action is just pretty much average. I was kind of impressed with it for a little bit for it being a basically a wash plate washer. But other than that, it was just kind of corny. Another thing about this washer that is actually kind of a good thing is that it has a very short sensing time. Some washers in the very beginning of the cycle like to mess around for like five or 10 minutes before they actually figure out what they're gonna do with their life. And then they actually start filling up with water. This machine is actually pretty quick. It takes it about five or 10 seconds to figure it out. I did my ketchup test on this washer machine and basically what I do is I put 10 clean hand towels in along with one towel that's stained with ketchup and I see how well it does on the heavy duty cycle. This washer did not do very good. It seems like it wants to do a good job, especially on the max fill setting. You feel like there's a lot of water and those clothes are actually moving around. It's really just kind of too bad. This washer had all the ingredients of being a respectable, halfway decent washer, but it just kind of fell flat on its face. I don't know. I'm being a little bit too critical about this machine, but maybe I should be. I don't know. Let's go over the things I don't like about this machine, and there are plenty. Basically, all the cycles are too long. Even like the quick wash is like an hour long. It kind of has like poor stain removal and I put slightly poor stain removal because it wasn't like super, super poor. It just wasn't good. I don't know. I expect more out of washing machines, especially when they're in the 600 plus dollar range. Another thing that I didn't like about this washer is that it just felt cheap. It's hard to explain how I feel when I think a washer looks and feels cheap. This washer felt like it was flexing a lot when I was moving it around and the tub just felt like it was connected by shoestrings. Another thing is that it sounds as cheap as it feels. 
This thing sounds like it's running off a 9 volt battery. It's really kind of impressive. I don't know. Maybe it just that's the way washers operate these days, but that's just not for me. Keeping on with my trend of it looking and feeling cheap, it sounds like it's going to self-destruct at any moment while it's actually in the spin mode. It's kind of terrifying, and I wouldn't be surprised if there were complaints about this washer breaking itself apart during its ridiculously slow final spin. Bottom line is that I just don't think this washer is worth the money. At around 650 bucks, there's a lot of really good options out there that you could get a washer that works well, has perhaps even a larger capacity, and maybe even costs less, and won't sound like it's ready to explode every time it goes into spin. I don't know. I give this washer a fail. Even though it wasn't the worst washer I ever tested, I just don't think you should be wasting your money on a machine like this. Thanks for watching.